We can hardly wait for season two of The Last of Us. Okay, okay, it's probably not coming out until 2025, but we've got some details about what this season may hold, and it's gonna be a doozy. If you're a fan of The Last of Us video games that the series was based on, then you know that season one of the hit HBO series stuck fairly close to the source material. We can't be sure just yet that the second season will do exactly the same, but it's safe to assume that the story is headed in a similar direction, at the very least. If that is what happens, then this story is going some pretty wild places, and things are about to get a lot darker. According to writer and creator Craig Mazin, we were able to map out all of season two, and I also wrote and submitted the script for the first episode and sent it to HBO around 10.30 or 10.40 p.m. right before the midnight. That midnight, the WGA strike began. Mazin has also said that the season has been outlined in its entirety. Still, the SAG after strike means that the actors may not know the broad strokes of season two, other than what they know from the game. And get ready because major spoilers, at least for the game, are ahead. Because I, I know what happens in the second game, and I'm, I'm nervous about being potentially without Pedro for a while. The Last of Us second video game installment brought on plenty of controversy, so it's safe to say that season two of the series may do the same. According to Mazin, though, director Neil Druckmann and I will be adapting the story to television as best we see fit. It seems likely that the main characters that are crucial to the storyline would be portrayed, but right now it's too early for me to commit to anything in print. While we don't know exactly what season two holds, for now we're taking a page from Bella Ramsey's book. It's not gonna be the same. So I just have to like go into it being like, this is season two and I loved season one, but this is just gonna be different. There's a time jump between the first and second game. In the first game, like in season one, Ellie is 14 years old. And in the second game, Ellie is 19 years old, which puts her closer to 20-year-old Bella Ramsey's age in real life. There hasn't been any firm confirmation that there will or will not be a time jump between these two seasons. That said, Mazin does call this time jump in the game important. He also notes that there's a primary shift in time, but there's also moments that you see that are in between the events of the main storyline, when it comes to parts one and two of the game. So it's safe to assume that this is what we'll be seeing in season two. If this has you worried about the nature of the time Time jump though, Mason made one thing clear. We are not doing House of the Dragon leaps. Those were very significant leaps in age, and we don't have that, so no recasting will occur. Not on my watch. It's difficult for the series creator to confirm or deny which characters from The Last of Us Part Two will appear in season two without giving away some plot details, so most new characters have yet to be confirmed. That said, controversial character Abby has reportedly been cast. The actor, however, has yet to be revealed. Of course, Bella Ramsey will be returning as Ellie, and Pedro Pascal will be back as Joel. It's also been reported that Gabriel Luna will return as Tommy, and Rutina Wesley will reprise the role of Maria. Now, some of us remember that in 2021, the issue of a major pay gap between Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey made headlines. It was reported that Pascal made 600,000 per episode, while Bella made just 70,000. There have been no reports of what the stars might earn next season. Even so, the pair has certainly gained plenty of star power since season one began, so it wouldn't be surprising if they both made more money in season two. The outcome of the SAG after strike is also likely to affect the actor's pay. Season one followed The Last of Us Part One, while season two is likely to follow The Last of Us Part Two. Since the game ends there, there's been speculation that the series' second season will be its last. Luckily though, Craig Mazin doesn't think so. His bet would be four, though he says you never know, it can end up being three or five, but four seems like a good number. Some seasons, because of the stories we're telling, will need to be fewer episodes and some will need more. What those seasons will entail though, it's hard to predict. One thing that is certain, season two is forthcoming. When it's coming, however, is still in question. As of now, they have yet to begin filming. Do you think there's a chance you'll be filming the second season this year? In the year 2023? Yes, there is a chance, yes. Well, that was back in spring, and now it seems pretty unlikely that they'll start filming in 2023. Still, the team is ready to go whenever the strike is resolved. I think we'll probably shoot like end of this year, beginning of next, and then it was a long, it's like a year filming. So it'll be wow. probably end of like 24, early 25. So until we get a firm release date, we'll just have to be patient and maybe play the games in the meantime. Are you excited for season two? What are you most hoping to see? Let's discuss it in the comments. And for more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe to the things.